Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. So measures of variation, there is another variation, another method of calculating to know the variations of different data. So that is mean deviation. In earlier what we have seen, quartile deviation and range. Mean deviation, here we are going to take deviations from either from mean, median or mode. But most popularly people use mean, mean to take the deviations. What is deviations? While working out problem you will understand. So we are going to take the deviations most of the time from the mean. There are some methods to take the deviations from the median also. But let me tell you frankly that if you take deviations from median, median means middle value. So that is ignoring once again the upper values and uh, downside values, lower values and upper values. So both are ignoring that is why popularly people use mean deviation from the mean, uh, mean only. Mean deviation taking deviations from mean. However, median and from mode also we can take the deviations. So today we will see individual series calculation of mean deviation. What is the formula for individual series? mean deviation md md is equal to sigma mod d by n sigma is means total you know mod d means deviations this uh, uh, vertical lines two vertical lines we say it as a mod mod means we are ignoring the signs whether positive or negative we are ignoring it so everything is positive in that way we are taking that is why we say it as a mod d by n simple easy to remember Mean deviation formula is sigma mod d by n, sigma mod d by n, okay. Now coefficient of mean deviation, when we wanted to uh, compare, then we, have, we wanted to go for coefficient of mean deviation. The formula is very easy to remember, coefficient of mean deviation is, already we calculated mean deviation, that mean deviation by x bar or median or mode from where you are taking the deviations. If you are taking deviations from mean, then we will take x bar only, mean deviation by x bar. If you are taking mean deviation from mode, then we will take MD by median. If you are taking from uh, median, median or mode, whatever we are taking, we will be taking that one only in the downside. It depends on this mean deviation, how you are taking the deviations, is it from x bar, m or mode, from where, so the same thing it comes downside, coefficient of mean deviation, right. Now we will see one problem in sing, uh, individual series. The problem is given here, find mean deviation and its coefficient from x bar and m, m means median, from both the sides. This is individual series, x is given. No frequency, if x is given frequency would have been given then that would be discrete series. Now it is individual series. First let us calculate mean deviation from x bar. What is the formula? Sigma mod d by n. Mod d first we will calculate. How do we calculate mod d? Mod d. So it means x minus x bar x minus x bar, x bar we need, x bar we need. So how do we calculate x bar? You know the formula, x bar is equal to sigma x by n in individual series. Hope you remembered it. So according to this, we will total of sigma x, uh, 26 plus 8 plus 9 plus 32 means 62, 62, 72, 72, 28 comes to 132. So sigma is, x is equal to 132 by n, n means number of observations that is 6. So 132 divided by 6, it comes to 22, 22 is x bar. Now we are taking deviations from x bar. So that is why we are saying x minus x bar, x is this one, x bar is 22, each number we have to take, say 6 minus x bar, x bar is, I will write it here in the brackets 22, 
6 minus 22. 6 minus 22 comes to uh, 16. Yeah, 16. 6 minus 22, 16, but minus 16. We are not taking minus. As we are saying mod means we are ignoring the signs. Everything is positive. Only 9 minus we do not take. In the same way, 26 minus 22, it comes to 4. 32 minus 22, 10. 30 minus 22, 8. 10 minus 22, 12. 28 minus 22, 6. Okay, and this total we want as per the formula. So, what is this total? Uh, this is 20, 30, uh, 40, 50, 56. 56. Okay. Now, what we'll do? We'll put the formula. X uh, mean deviation is equal to uh, sigma mod d by n. Sigma mod d is how much? 56. 56 by n is number of observation 6. So, 56 divided by 6, it comes to 9.33, 9.33. This is mean deviation. When we take deviations from the x bar, arithmetic mean, this is over. And next, what else we are asking? Coefficient of mean deviation also. Formula is, you know, coefficient of mean deviation. Formula is mean deviation by x bar because we have taken deviations from x bar. So, mean deviation is you know 9.33 here you got divided by x bar, x bar is 22. 9.33 divided by 22, it comes to 0 0.42, 0 0.42. So, this is over mean deviation from x bar. Next, mean deviation from median means we want to calculate the median. To calculate the median always x, you have to arrange it in ascending order. If it is already given in ascending order, no problem. Not given means we have to rearrange it. So, x, see the data is not in ascending order. We are rearranging it. So, what is the minimum number? 6. After 6, 10, then 26, 28, 30 and 32. What is the formula of median? First we want to calculate the median. Did you remember the formula? Median formula is size of n plus 1 by 2th item. n means here 6 number of observations, 6 plus 1 by 2th item, means 7 by 2 means 3.5, 3.5 means it lies in between 3 and 4. So, third item, third item plus fourth item by 2. So, what is the third item here? Uh, third item is 26 plus fourth item, fourth item is 28 by 2. It comes to 26, 28 means it is 27. So, median is 27. When we got median 27, hope you remembered it, n plus 1 by 2th item, n is here 6, 6 plus 1 by 2. So, it is coming to 3.5. If we C 3.5 from this means third and fourth item in between. So, third item is 26, fourth item is 28. Average we have taken. Average comes to 27. 27 is the median. Once if you get the median, then we will go for taking the deviations. Now, here mod D. What do we say? X minus median. Median is here 27. Hmm, once again taking the deviations. 6 minus 27, 21, 10 minus 27, 17, here 1, 1, 3, 30 minus 27, 32 minus 27, 5. So, we will total up this one, 21, 22, 23, 23 plus 8, 
प्लस सेवेंटीन वन मिनट ट्वेंटी वन प्लस सेवेंटीन एटीन सेवेंटीन थर्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी सेवन फोर्टी एट सो मॉड डी इज फोर्टी एट नाउ लेट सप्लाई इन द फॉर्मुला मेन डिविएशन इज इक्वल टू सेम सिग्मा मॉड डी बाई एन सिग्मा मॉड डी इज हियर फोर्टी एट फोर्टी एट बाई एन एन इज हियर सिक्स सो फोर्टी एट डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स कम्स टू एट सो मेन डिविएशन इज एट इन द सेम ए कॉफिशियंट ऑफ मेन डिविएशन formula is here mean deviation by from where we have taken the deviations from median so i'll try it median mean deviation is already we got 8 8 divided by median median is 27 8 divided by 27 comes to 0.296 0.296 means 0.3 means 0. Three zero you can write, or otherwise two nine six you can write anything. So altogether this is mean deviation from median, from mean, mean, mean deviation, coefficient of mean deviation from median, mean deviation, and coefficient of mean deviation. We have found uh, mean and median like this. Once if you get both. Taking deviations and applying the formula. Simple, nothing to worry. Did you understand? Want to take screenshot? Yes. If you are clear, if you are, if you understood it, here is the problem homework for you. Homework problem: Find mean deviation from median. Data is given to you. Only five numbers are given. This is also individual series. Find out mean deviation from median, not from Not from arithmetic mean. So what we have to do? Arrange it in ascending order. It's already arranged in ascending order. Simply you have to apply the formula. Median is equal to size of n plus one by two thai tham. Okay. According to that, whatever you get, that number you take and mod d calculate and apply in the formula. Same like this only. Answers are given to you. Median is four thousand four hundred and mean deviation is two forty. Cos coefficient of mean deviation is not asking. Am I clear? so please work out and if your answer is same write it in the comment box ma'am i got the answer i feel very happy by the way check out the playlist and this channel is free of cost not charging anything from anyone please utilize it do not hesitate to forward this videos to all the poor students who cannot pay the tuition fee who are unable to afford lots of fee in corporate organizations they can utilize it so please utilize it and forward this videos and have a bright career practice well see you in the next class with the mean deviation in discrete series till then practice well good luck